Hello students, today we will learn tissue system in the botany under the anatomy of flowering plants. So I write over here tissue system. Students in the tissue system, there are three type of tissues as per the Hebel lines. Three type of tissues as per Haberland, right? So what are these three type of tissue? We will first name the type of tissues over here. First it is epidermal tissue. Hopefully you can understand epidermal tissue which is the upper layer of the tissue or upper part of the any tissue system epidermal tissue i write first the name of these uh, tissue system and then there is a ground tissue system this is the base tissue system it makes the base of any systems base tissue or ground tissue system And number three is vascular tissue. tissue system. So there are three types of tissue system, epidermal tissue system and vascular tissue system. So epidermal tissue system, it is called as protoderm. Or we can say that this tissue system arises from the protoderm. This is the initial derm means dermis, right? The upper layer of the tissue system. So it actually evolved from this protoderm. It's an initial type of uh, cells which makes these tissues. We will uh, go on hand with hand with the NCRT, but al along with that, we will have some extra knowledges also. Now, protoderm, where two types of protoderms we can see or we can name them. One, it is we called as epidermis. In any cases, it is called as epidermis. Now, in case of plant, epidermis, when we say, we refer to the stem, epidermal system. And the other is called epiblema. Epiblema, which is referred to the root tissue system. So, there is a two type, protoderm, epidermis and epiblema. Now we will go to the ground tissue system. Generally, ground tissue system in an all, in an average, it is called as or it is divided as pericycle and pith. Hopefully, you can understand. These are the three system or three subsystem of the ground tissue system, or that makes the ground tissue system is cortex, pericycle, and the pith. Now coming to the vascular tissue system, as we all know, that creates the xylem and phloem, but the xylem evolved from the primary xylem. We write in short primary xylem and primary phloem. And primary cambium, though it is not available everywhere, but it is in the ground vascular tissue system. Primary cambium now these vascularization or arising of the vascular tissues so we will call this a process which is called as vascularization vascularization this process it comes from the due to differentiation 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 means maturation of procambium so these type of cells which arises the cambium cells or the vascular cells or vascular tissues so this type of cells in together it is called as procambium right so so vascularization comes or due to differentiation that is maturation of the procambium. So procambium is a very initial type of cells 
once they differentiate they maturate they maturate into primary xylem or primary phloem or maybe primary cambium now here very interesting things that we will remember procambium firstly forms what procambium firstly forms what forms two things one it is called intra fascicular cambium and we will list another one b it is called inter so uh, it's mistake uh, i rub it off first Mm. Okay, I'll take this one. Okay, so it forms the interfascicular cambium. Now, maximum students, what they mistake or they cannot remember what is basically intrafascicular cambium and interfascicular cambium what is the difference between that these intra or interfascicular cambium later on differentiates to into the vascular tissue systems and they forms the primary xylem primary phloem etc now let us come to this point and there is a remember some technique to remember what is the difference in the intrafascicular cambium fascicular cambium and interfascicular cambium when it comes to the a as we know a is the first uh, alphabet you know first letter of the total alphabetical systems a so we will remember a means one and here we will write a degree degree symbol that means primary so it is the primary fascicular primary cambium a it depends a it denotes one right in the atom so one degree means primary cambium so it forms the primary cambium intrafascicular it is the primary cambium and we will say inter so inter contains the r letter r right so in the array r comes after the a so we will write it is the secondary cambium right so secondary cambium actually forms basically in the dicot system we will come slowly slowly later on that but it is the later on this the fascicular cambium it later on develops matures into a cambium ring or cambium structure which increases the girth of the uh, any uh, plants roots or any plant uh, stems okay so here what happens what how we will remember intrafascicular cambium and interfascicular cambium so inter is the r so it is a secondary cambium and intrafascicular which is a primary cambium forms now the procambium forms these two things and after that these evolve into primary xylem and primary phloem and obviously primary cambiums <clears throat> now let us come to these uh, light on some epidermal tissue systems <clears throat> then as easy as possible so that you remember every word of it epidermal tissue system ps see in epidermal tissue system obviously there can be two different type of tissue one is root and there is another stem so let us discuss for the root root one because root have some exceptional type of epidermal tissue system this type of cells or root cells epidermal cells called rhizodermis it is called rhizodermis 
is another name rhizodermis now these rhizodermis is also called as piliferous layer piliferous layer why i i will describe just hold on and there is a, another name as we learned before that these type of cells are called also epiblema now remember these epidermal systems pili means hair like extension or hair like growth that means this root epidermal system evolve the produce hair like cells right so therefore they are called as piliferous layer an epiblema is a special type of epidermal cells that produces root hair so we can say these produces produces root hair this is not found in the stem epidermal systems this is only found in the root epidermal system now apart from these the other characteristics of the epidermal system that means any epidermal system any we will say any epi dermal any epidermal cell the character okay characters what are the characters of the epidermal they are basically single layered single layered but exceptional condi exceptional is there and uh, there is a less cytoplasm less cytoplasm they have large vacuoles exceptional but as i told their exceptional condition is there so first of all three things we will remember any epidermal cell may be at a root or maybe at a stem uh, they may be they will be single layered less cytoplasm large vacuoles now let us remember some exceptional conditions though it is beyond the uh, uh, discussion of the ncrt but we will know we will enhance our knowledge by little, little. so exception exception is there leaf epidermal leaf epidermal of ficus any ficus groups of plants and nadir so they are multi layered they are multi layered right now in case in case of leaf leaf epidermal coming to the coming to the leaf epidermal systems leaf epidermal these leaf epidermal layer they secrete a special chemical called wax secrete wax and this layer is called as cuticle cuticle layer as we have seen in the uh, in case of the lotus plant leaf uh, water will not uh, stay over the leaf they will slip down as in case of colocasia leaves the water will not stay and they will slip off agar hum hindi mein bhi baat kare to aisa hai ki lotus ki patto pe aapne dekha hoga ki water thairte hi nahi hai this is due to the waxy layer that is cuticle layers colocasia jisko hum hindi mein kaddu kehte hain kaddu ki pero ke agar leaf ki dekhe to usme बिल्कुल पानी नहीं रुकता ऐसे बहुत सारे प्लांट्स हैं नॉट ओनली दीज टू ऐसे बहुत सारे प्लांट है प्लांट की लीफ है आपने आसपास में देखा होगा कि जनरली बारिश के समय या कोई भी पानी आप फेंको तो उसमें वो बिल्कुल शोक नहीं करते वो उसमें पानी ठहरता ही नहीं है और पानी स्लिप करके निकल जाते हैं सो देट इज ड्यू टू दी वैक्स एंड दैट इज ओनली अवेलेबल इन केस ऑफ लीफ एपिडर्मल लेयर ये समटाइम्स Sometimes in case uh, in young plants, green plant stem, उसमें भी cuticle layer हो सकते हैं ऐसा बिल्कुल है. Now let us uh, let us look at the next part. 